Welcome to the Richard Lloyd USA YouTube channel. I'm Richard Lloyd. Today I'm making a viewer requested uh, video. Of, uh, several people have asked me to do it. Uh, they want a dedicated VPN router. That is a router that is specific purpose is to route everybody that connects to it to VPN or through VPN. And so uh, I've done this in the past, but uh, I think the protocols that were used in the past are no longer supported by the VPN providers. So, uh, you know, uh, these people have asked me, hey, can you meet, get, make an updated uh, video on a dedicated VPN router? And I said, okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to use a Netgear R7000. Uh, this uh, router right here is, is an R7000. I got this one for seven bucks or six ninety nine dollars uh, at my th local thrift store. So they're cheaply available uh, online and elsewhere. And uh, plenty fast to do this, dual band. So it's got 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and five gigahertz Wi-Fi, plus one gigabit uh, ethernet ports, as well as a dual core thousand megahertz uh, uh, CPU. Uh, you know, just amazing for seven bucks that I got this. But anyway, uh, more than enough horsepower to be a dedicated VPN router. So this is what we're going to use. We're going to put DD-WRT into it. That is a third-party firmware because stock firmware from Netgear will not work. And this also works on other routers as well. I've done it on an R6700 Netgear and an R7000P Netgear, as well as a TP-Link Archer uh, C9 version 1, which, again... Uh, as long as the, your router has enough horsepower to do this, enough memory as well, and the, is capable of insta uh, having installed the uh, DD-WRT third-party firmware in it with uh, OpenVPN support, then you can do that. But right now, this is an R7000 Netgear that I'm doing it on. And again, if you don't have one, they're cheaply available online uh, on eBay, Amazon, elsewhere. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do, is configure this up with VPN. If you don't know what VPN is, well, one thing you're going to need other than a router and a DDWRT installed in it, you're going to need a VPN provider. Now, my favorite one, and actually the only one I've ever paid for, is private internet access, as you can see here on the screen. Now, I have a link for this in the video description below with a huge discount. Currently, I believe it's 83%. So do me and yourself a favor and click that link in the video description. Uh, it's an affiliate link. I get a little bit of the sale, but uh, again, you get a huge discount by going through there and uh and again you support me and my efforts here on youtube as well as all the other stuff that's in the video description does as well and none of it will cost you any more than going directly to the seller anyway so please use the link in the video description to help me out and again if you don't know what vpn is well go to uh, pia or private internet access.com scroll through what is vpn and you see that it gives you extra privacy, safety, and freedom online. Uh, also secures your data, access allows you to access restricted content. So another neat thing VPN does is that you can change your geographic location. So let's say you wanted to look at something in Britain that you weren't allowed to access unless you were physically in Britain. Uh, you can actually uh, change your IP address to be a British IP address and therefore it will allow you to see that. Uh, same with India, Brazil, Japan, all over the world. There's there's dozens and dozens of servers all over the world for VPN to allow you to uh, unlock ge uh, uh, geographically restricted uh, or locked content. Uh, and you know, uh, as well as having it on your router, which is what we're going to do. You there's apps for your phone, for your tablets, for uh, PC, Mac. Uh, I, you know, iOS, in other words, uh, you know, and works on all t types of devices, okay? But the beauty of having it on a VPN uh, router is that you don't need the, what they call, client app. You don't need to install a piece of software to run P uh, PIA on every device that you connect to the internet that you want to have VPN access on. Any device that connects to this router without a client will be connected through PIA on VPN. Pretty cool, right? Uh, as well, how about things you can't put a client on? Like, for instance, a camera or a gar garage door opener. Again, those can uh, be connected to this router. Once they do that, they're going through VPN, encrypted through the internet and through VPN.
excellent thing. So let's go ahead and do this. Now the first thing you're going to do is go to your router 192.168.1.1. I've already done it. Uh, you're going to do a hard reset or a, a reset to factory defaults, which you can do. And I'll show you how to do the reset to factory defaults from the web page. But you can do it with a toothpick and, and uh, powering up the router, letting it boot up, and then holding the reset button down for eight seconds. It'll do the same thing, okay? After you've, of course, put DDWRT in there. So we're going to do what will happen right after you do that, which is you need to put in a username and a password. So I'm going to do that here quickly and then I'll show you how to do the factory uh, reset on uh, the web page or the configuration page here. So I've changed the credentials. We're going to do administration here and then you go here to factory defaults. Now I'm not going to hit it because I already hit it and if I do that it will reboot and it'll take forever. So just go here if you, ha if you have access to it and you restore factory defaults. Start with a clean slate and a router that has no old settings in it at all other than the factory ones, okay? So uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to, um, let's go to Google here. And in the Google search, just type in PIA space DD-WRT, okay? And what that will do is it'll give you this search result. And where we want to go is right here, DDWRT V4. 4715 open VPN setup PIA support portal. Okay, so we're going to PIA. They've got this mapped out for the uh, revision number 44715 router uh, from uh, DDWRT. Now you can see here that I'm using a much higher uh, revision. I'm using 51589. And as far as I know, that's the latest beta that will actually support this working. So I like to use the latest beta firmware because bug fixes, stability, security fixes, and so on. Uh, but unfortunately, if you go any higher than 51589, it won't work anymore. So if you want the highest, use this. Uh, if you want to go with the default uh, that PIA uh, it's, is you know, showing you on this web page, it works. But it's older, um, so it's up to you. Uh, I'm all about security and, you know, VPN is too, but uh, if you want to do it this way, just use the old V3 uh, R441715, uh, okay? Um, so, what we're going to do is uh, go through this uh, step by step, uh, and, and again, uh, you know, basically showing you how they're telling you to do it as, as well. Not quite in the same sequence, but you'll get it. So, we're going to go back to the router. We're going to go to setup here. And uh, first thing we're going to do after the factory default is change these settings. This has actually, well, actually does have something to do with uh, um, PIA, but because it makes the router work faster. So change the shortcut forwarding engine from SFE to uh, CTF, flow acceleration to so CTF and FA. Now, technical stuff doesn't matter. Just change it this way. It makes the router run as fast as it can. Faster, a lot faster than it would if you don't. Okay, so enable these settings. Then uh, scroll down here to the very bottom. And you see that it says Europe Berlin for the uh, client, uh, the NTP client settings. That should be enabled. And this time setting is very, very crucial on the router. So make sure you put it in the right time zone for where you live. Okay, so it, it's crucial that it's set to your time zone correctly. So I'm in the U.S. in uh, Texas. That makes me in the central time zone. So I'm going to use U.S. Central. Whatever, wherever you are, use that time zone. Hit save. And uh, I'm not going to hit apply yet because once I do, I believe it will reboot. And uh, next thing you want to check is IPv6. Make sure that uh, enable IPv6 is disabled. Okay. So by default, it is. So, you know. We're done here. And so the next thing we're going to do is hit apply settings. And after I hit this, it's going to reboot. So I'm going to hit it and then I'm going to wait for the reboot and then pick up the video after that. So here we go. Yeah, as you can see. So uh, I'll pick it up when it reboots and then we'll continue on. All right. On that reboot, I made a executive decision um, to re revert the firmware to the officially supported firmware from PIA. So PIA is officially supported firmware for this is 44715. So I put in 
four four seven one five into this router, uh, and it's it's it is a downgrade because it's two and a half years old, but it's supported by PIA. So if you set this up, you can call up and say, "Hey, I got this problem. Uh, you know, oh, how are you running it? I'm running it on." 44715. Oh, yeah, we support that. That's great. Uh, but it is two and a half year old firmware. And there, I did notice some differences right away. But, uh, you know, mainly, uh, it's a little slower. It's uh, the, the newer firmware is definitely faster. And I, I think I found out why. But I'll make another video with the newer firmware uh, that, uh, you know, they may or may not support, which is the 51589 uh, PIA uh, sorry, uh, supported, not supported, but unsupported VPN uh, firmware. Uh, and it's it's the highest revision of the beta firmware. It's about four or five months old at this point, maybe six. And uh, it is definitely quicker than the, the, this firmware. But uh, I'm going to do the supported firmware and then I'll follow up with another video. Now, the basic setup hasn't changed. Uh, you know, base, well, actually it has and I'll show you how. But everything you did you would do for the uh, more advanced firmware works here except that you don't have the shortcut forwarding engine all you have is just enable or dis disable you don't have any settings there so it's probably not as accelerated as the newest one is so just make sure that's enabled again and uh, you know again revert it back here so I'm going to change this over to uh, US East Central again again I just want to uh, uh, make sure that I have, and, and look, it doesn't even put the IP address in there, so I'm just going to hit apply. Let's see if they have that set setting in there. Yeah, they don't either. Just They just say America, Denver, that's where they are. Uh, I'm, I'm setting it up for uh, U.S. Central, just following their directions. Uh, make sure IPv6 is off. It is by default, so we're cool there. Then we're going to go over here to services. Again, as you see here, 44715. And I'm going to follow their um, document on this. Uh, we've done everything on the other, uh, you know, template. We'll go to scroll down here. IPv6 is done. So the next thing we need to do is go get the configuration files. I mean, you can use their California Privacy Network setting, uh, which they use in this example that they're showing. Uh, but you, uh, I'm not in California. And when you're using VPN uh, to, you know, just for its uh, anonymity and uh, security features, not for its geographical uh, uh, ability to relocate your IP address, uh, then you want the closest VPN server to you because that makes it fastest, right? So I'm going to choose Texas. So I'm going to download this file right here, open uh, VPN configuration files, just click on that. And then I'm going to put it on my desktop in the R7000 folder. There we go. Put it on uh, the uh, R. 44715 uh, version. So just download that somewhere where you're going to remember where it is. Then once you've got it, open it up. It says, okay. And there's all the configuration files. They're zipped, so I'm going to extract them all. You don't have to, but I'm going to extract. So go up here to extract all. Click on that. Choose the defaults, extract. And when it's done, you're going to have a file with all the configuration files in it, right? So since I'm in Texas, uh, I'm in the U.S., wherever you are, choose the closest location. Uh, so uh, I'm in U.S., Texas. There we go. There is another way to find the most recent and most updated servers in, the, all in their network, uh, but I'm not going into that. I'm just going with the basic configuration here. I'll probably do that in another video as well. Um, so here we go. Okay, so U.S. Texas Open uh, OVPN. Uh, so double click that. Mine opens up in uh, uh, Notepad. If yours does not, just open Notepad up and then open up the file using Notepad. So what you're going to do here is go to the remote line here and choose uh, the U.S. Texas Privacy Network right there. So copy that and, we'll, and uh, then. 1198, just remember that number because we're going to need that port. So we'll go back to the router. Go to services, VPN, down to open VPN client, and then go to um, enable. It should be disabled here. Let's 
So open VPN client, enable, and then we're going to put in the server IP name uh, address or name, as it says, we're going to just paste that uh, address, whichever one you p picked uh, in there. For me, it's US Texas Privacy Network. And then down here on the port, we're going to change it from 1194 to 1198. And if you look here, uh, it'll show you those settings down here, right? So tunnel UDP. So that's default set there. And uh, here it's going to say none, I believe. Uh, no, wait. Uh, it is actually going to say AES128GCM. If you look at it, there it is. And then the hash algorithm, SA. A S H A one. So we're going to do that. Keep scrolling. Then we're going to choose the next setting: uh, none, none set, and none set. So we're going to do that. None, none set, and none set. And we're going to need user pass authentication. And I think they have that done there. Yes, they do. <clears throat> Enable. So here you're going to put your username, whatever it is. Usually starts with a P and a great big crazy number. And then your password in here, okay? I'm not going to put mine in here because, hey, uh, this is the internet, right? So uh, I don't want to get my account hacked. So we'll, I'm going to do that after we do the configuration. You do it now, all right? And then go here. Go back to PIA portal, uh, support portal. Now here, I'm going to deviate and give you the option to not deviate uh, so here it says advanced options disable uh, if here's here's something you want to know you can have this setting that's fine but if you don't do this following setting that I show you right with you, you know I'll show you to you in a second if you just go with a default uh, 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 setup what will happen is You'll connect to VPN. Great. It'll connect the whole router to VPN. Everybody connected to that router will surf on VPN. No problem. But if the tunnel for some reason goes down, for instance, maybe the server on the other side went down, maybe there's some sort of disconnection happened between you and the VPN router, uh, so VPN provider, you're not going to know it. Okay. It's not going to kick you off. It's going to continue just to let you surf without VPN and you won't know that you're not on VPN anymore. And as far as I'm concerned, uh, it sort of defeats the purpose. So uh, if you enable this setting that I'm going to show you here, this is optional. Click on advanced, scroll down, and you'll see here, right? Um, and they don't even have it. Holy cow. It's not there. Wow. Nope. Advanced options, no, 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 no. Okay, well, I thought it'd be here, but it's not. There is a switch in here that allows you to uh, basically tell the router, don't connect me to uh, anything if you can't connect me to VPN, right? Uh, this doesn't have it. So, uh, again, why I went to the m most recent version, I, I don't like the thought of connecting to the router and not knowing whether I'm, I'm on VPN or not. If I connect to my router with the higher version of a revision of the firmware, then if I'm not on VPN, I won't be able to surf the internet. This won't do that. So uh, yeah, we're just going to go back here and disable this and go with the default setting. Again, I'll maybe add it to the end of this video or maybe make another video where I show the latest version and the updated advanced settings that you can get with the latest uh, version that works with uh, PIA. So next thing you're going to do here after username and password is you're going to put the CA cert in. So yeah, interesting. So scroll down on your notepad that you opened up with all that information and you'll see CA here. And what you want to copy is everything from uh, below CA in, in begin certificate all the way down to here, right? And certificate. So you want to get it right to the end here and right from the beginning, all that information, begin and end certificate information, and copy it, minimize, then drop it in here to CA cert, paste. Okay? And 
uh, all the rest is empty. Here uh, they say to soft ether VPN, drop a config. The uh, we're gonna drop some information in this config uh, section. Again, we're gonna go here, and you see that there's all this here. But this is a picture you can't copy it from here. You have to go back up here, grab this stuff here. There you go. Copy it. Go back to the setup, and then hit paste. <laughs> Well, that didn't work. Let's try that again. Yes, there's a copy button over there, but I don't find it works very well. And obviously that didn't work either. Copy. Let's go back here. I'm going to select it all. Paste. There, that's better. Um, now we've got the things that we need into that config uh, box. Hit save. Then hit apply. Of course, mine is not going to work because I don't have my username and password in there. So you, you know, just to reiterate, you actually need a VPN account with a username and password. PIA is a great choice and a very, very uh, economical choice as well. Uh, use the link in the video description. Uh, and now it should connect. Now mine will not. And I'll show you where to go here. Go to status. Go to open VPN tab and you'll see that there's just nothing in these boxes. There should be something here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my username and my password in there and then I'll pick up the video showing you what should show up here with a default configuration and then we'll test it out. All right, I've populated my username and password there. Of course, we're not going to show you that. Uh, then we're going to go to status over here on the tab and then open VPN tab down here and you can see that I'm connected, success, right? So uh, let's go check the settings here. You can see everything's cool. Uh, again, works, right? Uh, so uh, I see a little warnings here, but you know, doesn't matter. Uh, there, it's, it should be working at this point. I set it exactly the way they, they showed you to do, uh, every setting, so follow this and um, you know, it will work and it'll be the supported version. But I will probably make another video with the highest uh, version revision that works because it's a, a little better. In fact, I would say superior to this uh, configuration. So uh, again, this is the supported version. So here, let's go to uh, do a little test on this, all right? So a uh, good website for that is ipleak.net. There we go. And I am in Texas, so it's going to give me that IP address. But this is not my current IP address. Definitely not. There we go. So now I'm, I, I'm off to the races. Now, TWC is my, uh, my Time Warner, which is who I'm connected through for DNS. So that's normal. Uh, by the way, those are not this is the one that's actually testing cogent right but as you can see you know it's not i've got a whole bunch of other information here that that uh, you know is pointing to uh 72183 which which i suspect would be uh, an ip address that's either mine or uh the uh uh internet provider okay so uh not the greatest configuration, but here's the supported configuration. So after seeing this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the advanced uh, version so that you can see and choose for yourself which one you want to use, okay? Uh, you know, supported or not, I prefer higher security and better results. So uh, this is cool. Let's, uh, as you can see, uh, United States, Texas, uh, you know, this tells you where you are and what's going on. So... Uh, scroll down here and it says here uh, it says the city I'm surfing from is Dallas so I'm not I don't live in Dallas so I'm, I'm about two hours away from there so uh, and the accuracy of that is about 20 kilometers so I'm way further than that uh, away from them so it worked and it's working and this is the basic supported 44715 setup if we go back to the router and back to services <clears throat> you may want to change the geographic location. So go to services and VPN. And all you got to do to change the, the, the geographic location is go back to that configuration uh, file or those configuration files that you saved. 
and there they are. And let's say you want it to be in London. So UK, London. Double click that file, open it up in Notepad. <clears throat> Uh, all you really need to do is make sure that the port is the same, and it is, so 1198. So we're going to take UK London Pri Privacy Network, copy that, put it back in here. Port's the same, so we don't worry about that. Then we go to, uh, let's go here, oh, actually, back to the configuration file. Scroll down to the CA certificate. So we're going to take everything again from the beginning, begin certificate, all the way to the end certificate. And then take all those characters, copy it, minimize it. And uh, I will be skipping over my uh, uh, password. So I'm going to uh, put it down in the CA section. There we go. And control A. So select all in that box. Yes. Don't know what I just did, but control A. And then right click, paste. There we go. I want to make sure I got that right, so I'm going to do it again. Copy. Not sure what happened with my copy and paste there, but I'll do it again. Right click this, go to pay, go to select all. Right click again, paste, there it is. I'm sure it's the same, save. Apply settings at the bottom. There we go. Now UK London Privacy Network, let's go back to status over here to open VPN. And it says connected. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to reboot the router and make sure, actually, let, let's go check. Let's go check and see what happened here with the, with the uh, IPLeak.net. So let's go back, open up in a browser window. IPLeak.net. Enter. Yep, it changed. It now United Kingdom in England. Again, showing servers for DNS here in Texas which not great um, and down here down here yeah so I am r running through VPN uh, if you look down here past all this stuff and you look at my current look country location is United Kingdom England London Europe London right so let's see and it's not giving me anything here there we go the map even tells me I'm in London. So it's working. It's not working great. Uh, I, I, I can get better results than this with the newer firmware. Uh, but this is the supported firmware, okay? So I'll show you now what happens when you go to the newer firmware and how to uh, set it. Another thing you may want to be aware of too, uh, you know, you can save your configurations so that you don't have to keep doing this every time. You can have like uh, seven different configurations, one for India, one for Tokyo, one for for uh, London, one for, uh, I don't know, Argentina, one for Asia, uh, China, whatever. And you can save them here by going to the administration page and going to the backup uh, tab. And here, just all you have to do to save this configuration is just click on backup. And uh, we're going to, yeah, okay, this is the right one. Uh, I've, I've put them all my, all mine into open uh, VPN config and then you know just make make it make sense so say let's say London PIA and um, we'll call it uh, R44715 and actually actually don't have to do that because it's right there in the name but the London PIA uh, configuration so now when you change to another configuration you save it as well and you keep going like that and anytime you want to switch over instead of doing all these settings and all this work you just choose your different configuration and go so here I'm gonna say hit save and that's it you've saved it to restore it all you would have to do is hit restore oops hit browse go back to that same folder where you saved it desktop r7000 there we go four four one seven and there's London, you would just choose the London one, hit open, hit restore, 
the router would take it, reboot, and then you'd be in the London configuration. So understand that. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to upgrade it to the latest version. So this is like basically a two-in-one video uh, and show you the latest configuration because it is significantly better to use that version, but not, I don't think, officially supported by PIA. So your choices, you can always go back, right, and, and, and go with the older version as well. So I'll show you the newer version here in a second. All right, upgraded to 51589, and of course, I reset to the default uh, factory settings. So we got to put the password in here. Just do that quickly here, and uh, then we'll continue to configure the router in accordance to what I have already done. I've got a screenshot of that. Change credentials. There we go. I'm going to go to setup and uh, automatically you see already the shortcut for the engine now has options for a drop down we're going to change that to ctf then flow acceleration to ctf and fa what this means is that your router will work a lot faster uh, you didn't have that option on the uh, 44715 so version so right off the bat you're going to be faster uh, all the rest more or less the same we're going to change the time setting again always have to do that when you uh, reset or set the factory settings here we're going to hit save but not apply yet check the ipv6 it's disabled save again um, i guess we can hit apply here uh, yeah it's going to reboot and uh, i'll let it reboot and then when it comes back we'll continue to do the configuration Right, rebooted back to the services VPN tab, and you can see everything's disabled here because you know we reset the router. So here we're going to put this back to enabled on v Open VPN client. Uh, go with the default on those two radio buttons. Uh, mitigation enable and enable client, of course. We're going to put the uh, uh, let's let's do uh, London again uh, and. So go back to our configuration file. I believe I still have it here. Yes, I do. Uh, that's from the configuration files we downloaded or file we downloaded. Copy that. And it's 1198 for the port. So control V. Change the port to 1198. Tunnel. Um, I actually have all these printed out here. Let's see if I have it. Yeah, there it is. And you can see uh, UDP is the next one. So let's go to UDP. There we go. And continue on down with that. Uh, and the sec the next one, uh, AES 128GCM. That's 128-bit encryption. Hash algorithm, uh, again, will be uh, SHA1 and then AES 128GCM again. So we're going to SHA1. And here, this is on the other setting was set to none, uh, and that sort of broke it a little bit. So uh, uh, actually, this sort of fixes it. So we're going to go here to 128 GCM. Then these are still set to not set, and then the next one to not set. Uh, and then we're going to go here and choose enable uh, on the user pass, but I'm not putting it in here. Just put your P number in and your and your password in, and then. Here's the part I wanted to show you, and that is the advanced options, okay? Here we have a whole bunch of stuff. Let's see what I have for the picture here. Okay, so uh, under advanced options, okay, I've had uh, enable, TLS cipher none, uh, and then compression, where it says disabled, I'm just going to say no here, okay? So I'm following... You have no idea how long it took me to figure out all these settings. I had to play with a lot of switches, okay? And, uh, you know, infinite variables. But this is how I set it. So enable, TLS cipher none, compression, no, NAT, enable. And again, I'm using the advanced option here. And if you saw the, earlier in the video, the advanced options, they didn't have a lot of these options. Now, here's the one that matters the most, okay? This one. Check it off, all right? This option right here. Okay, I'm going to call it K switch because there's certain words on this platform are not good to say. 
on the first part of this K switch word is not a good thing to say on this platform. So uh, I'm not going to say it. So we'll call it K switch, enable that. Now re what that does is what I said before. This enables the, the router to disconnect your internet connection if the VPN tunnel drops, right? So if you're connected and you're talking to VPN, everything's cool, data's flowing back and forth, no problem. If, but if the tunnel breaks, this doesn't continue to let you browse the internet or send data through the internet. It, it disconnects you from the internet and no data flows unless you get back on to VPN. I, I think that's a beautiful safety switch. We'll call it that. And uh, because basically either you're on VPN or you're not browsing the internet through this router or sending data through the internet on this, uh, on this router. It, it's just not going to happen. Okay. So that, that one switch alone is worth to me to go up to version 51589, okay? Just on that. And, and you can use lower ones. You can use uh, until you see the options that you, you know, start, the options will, as you go backwards, you'll start losing options. It's really, they added it. That's why they, they, they keep uh, making this uh, firmware uh, revision higher and higher and higher. They keep fixing it. They keep making it better. But for some reason, I couldn't get any of them to work after 51589. Uh, I have no idea why. But more than good enough for this and actually much better than 44715. So we've got that uh, K-switch set. Um, the rest here, I think we'll just leave alone. Let's take a look at my settings. And yeah, those are less, uh, left alone. Now the additional configuration where they used to put it down here right which is no longer available if you look here right unless you turn this on i put it here and it, it works so uh, i'm going to put uh, that additional configuration from their support page which is in the blue here so copy 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 so highlight it all hit the uh, right click it choose copy We'll go back to the router here, additional configuration, hit paste. As you can see, I took a little more than I needed to, so I'm going to backspace. There we go. And there's all that stuff in that additional configuration. Hit save. And then hit apply. And I believe that sets me up perfectly for the UK. Um, yeah, a couple things. That first data cipher is on where it wasn't on the original. Uh, the TLS cipher is, is on none com uh, and compression no. Uh, this switch here is on. Definitely put that switch on. And uh, yeah, all the way around, this is just a much better configuration. So I wanted to show you the supported and I wanted to show you the super great upgrade that this gives you. Okay, so next I'm going to put the username and password in there and then I'll show you the status and we'll test it. Uh, the things that happened between takes. Uh, I had a power outage here for about three seconds, long enough to reboot my computer, and also long enough for me to realize that I forgot to put the CA certificate into this uh, configuration. But that's a good thing. You know why? Because that breaks the, the uh, VPN tunnel. So right now I shouldn't be connected to VPN. All right? And let's go to status and open VPN here and you see there's nothing in these fields that means you're not connected okay uh, blank means nothing's happening so back here uh, you notice this setting the K switch that should be stopping us right now from being able to browse or, or surf the internet or connect to the internet in either direction so let's go test that so uh, let's put in ipleak.net again and nothing happens. You know, I didn't expect anything different. Uh, that's what's supposed to happen. If for some reason the tunnel goes down or doesn't connect, then you will not be able to browse or, or connect to the internet in any way on this router. So you're either on VPN or you're not on at all. Okay, K-switch, awesome. So let's put the uh, CA certificate back in there. Let's uh, open this up. I got it highlighted here for Japan, copy it. I just, you know, I, you know, okay, so copy it and hit right click here, hit paste, hit save, and apply. 
All right, back to our status, refresh. Authenticating, refresh again. Connected, success. Let's try IP, IP leak again. And as it should, it works. We got one DNS server in Japan, as we should, not one here in Texas or one at my ISP or anywhere else. You should not have any uh, uh, DNS servers from your ISP showing up here. If they are, there's something wrong, okay? Uh, not configured correctly or something just not working right. Um, so this is exactly what we have. Uh, Japan, Tokyo, as we should have. Uh, activate the map here. Actually, I'll just leave that. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm in Tokyo here, as you can see. Uh, and all right, well, this is great, but we're connected through Ethernet. Let's disconnect from Ethernet and connect through Wi-Fi, okay? So I'll change the adapter options here. I'm just going to disable the uh, Ethernet adapter. That should break my internet connection. I'll go back and put it back on later, yeah. And here we're going to go to Wi-Fi, and we're going to connect to DDWRT, which is where we should be. Connected, secured, good. Uh, let's open up another tab, and let's do IP leak again only this time we're doing it on Wi-Fi so yeah I'm connected here on Wi-Fi as you can see Japan Tokyo one DNS server it, it really should make a difference how you connect to the router so now you can see that uh, Wi-Fi uh, clients will be protected and uh, Ethernet clients will be protected on the router so bingo we're on everything's cool it's great so now, the other thing I want to suggest that you do at this point is what you should always do when you put a configuration into your router and don't mix and mass match configurations. I'll, I'll tell you what I mean here in a second. Let's just go to administration, back up this configuration by choosing backup, saving it to uh, a pertinent area. I'll put it here, R7000, and uh, I'm going to put it in R51589. And what I mean by don't mix configurations is if you made a configuration with a, a firmware version of R44715, uh, don't use it on a firmware version R51589. If you do that, you're going to probably break the, the, the router or have to you know reset the router. Uh, back the defaults and redo it again. So save the configurations for the actual firmware itself. Um, you know, you may be able to go forward, but it, I just wouldn't. I just like every time that you uh, update the firmware, you should make new log files or new, uh, not log files, new configuration savings. So I'm going to go here to configs and it's PIA Tokyo. So I'll just choose that one here. Uh, yep, yeah, that'll do for me. I'll put it in, save, say yes, I'll overwrite it, and now it's saved. Um, you know, if I want to load, uh, uh, go back to, let's say, load uh, uh, London again, it's very simple. Just go back to our, uh, to my folder with uh, the, log, the, the configs, so the, the uh, configurations that I've saved already, uh, and we'll choose that one. And he said, oh, as you see, I got default settings. I got everything. Uh, so here we're going to say, uh, choose open, restore. And that should put us back on London, right? You know, so the, 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 the router is rebooting. I'm going to go back here and uh, turn on my Ethernet. Turn off the Wi-Fi. I like Ethernet better anyway. Uh, Right-click this. Go to open network and Internet settings. I'm going to go to Ethernet. There, change adapter options. And I'm going to turn on my, or enable my uh, network card, okay? So there we go. It says cable unplugged, but it's just because the router is rebooting right at this moment. So that'll put us back on London once this thing reboots, and then you'll be able to surf again through London. So as you get uh, how this all works, I strongly suggest that you use the second version, the 51589, as opposed to the 44715, and uh, follow my uh, my configuration. I think I have a picture of it here. Oops, not what I wanted to do. Get that off there, and 
I'll bring it up for everybody to see again. I believe it's in here, yeah. There it is. And, although it's not very big, because there's a lot of information to this, uh, basically what you need is mostly at the top. So let's see if I can get this. Yeah, there we go. There's more or less what you need. Uh, CA certificate, you know how to do that. The uh, additional configuration, which is put in after you uh, enable the advanced options, none, no compression, everything as you see here and everything as I showed in the video. So uh, that's it on this uh, VPN. It's actually went a little longer than I thought, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm learning as I go along too. And uh, this is a highly complex configuration with, as you see, tons of variables. Any one of these things not correct and it doesn't work or it doesn't work correctly. And uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I learned something here and that I hope you have by watching this video that there's two settings and that the old settings are not anywhere as good as the ones I show in the second part of this video. So hopefully you stay tuned to the end of the video so that you can see this. All right, that's it for my video. If you like this video and helped you out in some way, Click the thumbs up. Give me a like at the bottom. That helps my channel. It helps my video. And I greatly appreciate it. Also, in the video description below, you will find a link for PIA, Private Internet Access. And these guys are great. It is a hugely discounted deal down there. Uh, so click the link to find out how much. It does change over time. Currently, it's, I think, 83%. Uh, but it depends. And... Uh, also, in the video description, other links for other hardware that I use and, uh, and uh, things that, uh, you know, I suggest or recommend. Uh, again, help me out by using those links. Like I said, it doesn't cost you anything uh, and more than going straight to the actual uh, site itself. Uh, and uh, in the case of private Internet, it saves you money. So click that if you're going to go there. Uh, also, comment section. Uh, this video was uh, brought to me or brought to you because of viewers comments and viewers questions about uh, VPN so uh, I answered the question here's how you make in 2023 a uh, dedicated VPN router uh, that you know rocks as far as I'm concerned it's really cool how it works and uh, basically uh, if there's other questions on this I'll, I'll make more videos pertaining to VPN. Uh, I may make a, a VPN uh, primer kind of video where uh, I show what VPN is, what is accessible on VPN, and so on and so forth. If there's more questions on this video, I'll make more videos. So, uh, you know, really appreciate you guys on this. Comment section, anything you want to say to me, questions, uh, you know, whatever. Just put it in the comment section. I look at those regularly and answer them very frequently. So other than that, uh, stay healthy, stay happy, and we'll see you in the next video.